Welcome everyone. Happy Wednesday. It's Mike and Charles with FlowTrack. So we got something really spontaneous today. Um, we were actually just about to integrate uh, FlowTrack with a, a webinar platform that we plan on using called Demio. And I was like, you know what, why don't we actually just live stream this while we're doing it just spontaneously so people can <laughs> how you can use FlowTrack to automate literally everything. So let me walk you through the process. So we do these um, three times a week uh, sessions. We got the, you know, Lunch and Learn Mondays. We got the, uh, was it Champagne Fridays and Caviar Wednesdays. Um, and, you know, we want to send people out an invite to this webinar. And so we're looking at this webinar platform called Demio and they have an API. Um, and on this API, you know, you can actually register a user. And, you know, I hate when you have to give people multiple usernames um, to log into a system. So I was like, how do we, how can we just automate this? And when you sign up, you know, we automatically generate the link or the user or the registration inside Demio. And so let's actually do that really quick. <clears throat> so um, Charles, you, you just sent me this uh, API doc right here for Demio. Yep. Uh, and so we're going to go in and, and we're going to do this, do this live. So uh, are you ready? Drum roll, please. All right. Perfect. So um, they got this API that says register. Um, so you register someone to an event. Um, I'm looking at this API doc and, and like most API docs, it tells me the stuff that's required, right? So I got a name, I got an email and we got some sort of event ID. Everything else in here is really optional. Um, so we're going to go through and we're just going to, we're going to put this in a flow. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into flow track and we're going to go ahead and just create a new flow. Um, and we can go ahead and just put in an API step. So I'm going to drag and drop this to the API step. And in here, I can start putting in the register, uh, link. So here's the link for that. Um, so I'll go ahead and copy this and we're going to paste this in right here. Uh, this is a post. Um, and then looking down at this, it looks like they're using JSON. It says JSON right here. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is actually change this data type to JSON. And now I want to start passing in some data. So we got an ID we're going to put in and we got a first name and a last name. So I click that, uh, here a few times. And I'm just going to copy and paste these names, right? So ID, I guess I didn't really have to copy and paste that, but I'm, I'm, that's how lazy I am. <laughs> I copy and paste ID. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. But... No. <laughs> <laughs> just our secret, Charles. No. Um, okay, then we got name and email. So I'm going to copy that, name, email. <clears throat> now for name, obviously I want to put in a name. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do first name for name, and we'll do email for email. Makes sense, right? Yep. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then we got some sort of header data right here. Um, and this is going to be, um, you know, really the API key that we're going to put in here. Um, and so uh, we got an API key and we got an API secret. So I'm going to try to like do this in a secret way so it's not uh, exposed on here. <laughs> so let's see if we're sort of a live stream. Um, and why don't you go ahead and paste that to me in, in, uh, in Slack and we'll try to... Squeeze this right. in here. One second. Let me go grab it. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna scroll very carefully on, on here. <laughs> Hold on. You know, I've got 1,001 tabs over here open. So let yeah. me go to the one that actually has. You know, okay. I can just drag it to another window. How about that? I'm gonna hide that one, type in the, the API key. That's that seems smarter to do. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, who says smarts uh, have to be uh, uh, involved in any of this stuff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let me. Um, all right. So I'm going to pop this into you. So pop it into Slack. Yeah. Drop it into Slack. Um, okay. And I'll just show you what I'm doing. So this API doc says, you know, hey, you got to put these two things in the header, right? API key and API secret. So I'm just copying and pasting that too, right? And I'm going to actually put this in here. So this is like the username and password to use this API. So I'm going to. Now drag this off screen. Um, and that's the first one is the key or the? Yes, first, one first is one's the key. Second one is the secret. All right, cool. So I got the key. 
I got the secret. Um, so that's cool. Um, and I'm actually going to uh, not show that yet because I need to show something below that. So I unpasted that. Um, but so once I paste the 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 key and the secret here, I'm, I want to do something with the response of the API. So that's why we have this little box that says saving the API response. Well, in this case, uh, this API actually returns a uh, it returns a join link, right? So this is a link to join the webinar that's specific uh, tied to that user. So I'm going to copy this, uh, the name of the field, um, and I'm going to paste this in the response key to save. And now I got to pick a spot to save this. Um, and so now I got to, you know, either create a field on a form or pick something on a contact that no one else would ever use. I don't think anyone ever uses Google Plus anymore. So we can save, <laughs> we can save the webinar link in the Google Plus address. I think you're fine. safe. <laughs> you're safe. <laughs> so I'm going to put it in there. Um, and so let me actually drag this off the screen now so I can put the uh, actual secret in there uh, for real this time. Um, so I'm just pasting in the, the key and I'm going to paste in the, the secret. Um, and so now I got that on there. And so I can save this step and really just start connecting it. Um, and so, but I want to test this first to make sure it's working. So we got this test button up here and I can come in and I can select some contact, Mike Bob, right? I don't know if Mike Bob has an email address, but uh, we'll see. I think the white label Bob user has it. So test account. So I don't know. Let's see, Bob. Uh, let me just go create a contact first to make sure I got one with the email address in this in this dummy account. So I'm going to save the flow first. We're going to call this the Demio uh, uh, webinar registration. Spell it right. Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to go in my database and I'm actually going to uh, create a new user. So we'll just call this the Mike uh, Demio. I want to say this is Mike at Demio.com. <laughs> Um, and so we got a new contact. And so now I'm going to go back into the flow builder. I'm just going to test this using that, that user. So come in here, open this and click on the test button. And there you go. I got Mike Demio. So I'm actually expecting this to fail the first time because I didn't put the ID of the webinar, right? So this is blank. So I should be able to test this and probably get an error. Um, so let's go ahead and try that out. So I'm going to type in Mike Demio, click submit. Um, you don't have access to this event, right? So there we go. That's because there's no event ID. So let's figure out how can we get the event ID? Well, I can ask you, Charles, and you could probably pull it from Demio, but since we're already in FlowTrack and we got the API up in front of me, why don't we just use the event list API? I can actually come in here and, uh, just go ahead and say event list, and let's just call that to get the list of events, <laughs> right? So <laughs> I'm just gonna paste this in here instead, event list, click test. I'm gonna type in Mike Demio, click submit. Um, it says API endpoint not found. So what does I do? Oh, it's a get request. Always make ah. sure you get the right one. So the difference between get and post, this tells me right here get because we're getting a list of events, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click uh, test again. I click Mike Demio. There is the list of events. Now, I know we want this one, Champagne Friday, so I'm going to copy that ID. Boom, we got that done. I'm going to scroll down, not too much, I guess too much <laughs> in that case. So <laughs> they're changing that uh, that uh, API key, so it's okay. Um, oh, yeah, it's so, all good. So it's already, it's already on there. So, um, uh, yeah, so that's the ID that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and save that in a new uh, tab and let's go ahead and put this back to post um, and I'm going to put the ID in there and now I'm just going to change the link back because I got the the list of events but now I want to put it back to register so I'm going to copy that paste it in there so we just made two different API calls in here just kind of connecting this on the fly so now yep. we got everything right we got the the post um, so I can go ahead and click test I'm going to try Mike Demio um, boom, we got a join link. <laughs> that's exactly what we wanted. <laughs> that's awesome. So this is working perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, publish it. The flow is live. 
Let's go ahead and test it for real. I'm going to do a different contact. Um, we'd say, you know, uh, John Demio two. I guess there's only one John so far. So John at Demio.com. Submitted that. We got a real contact. Now, this could be triggered from a form, right? You fill out the registration form. You want to automatically add them to the webinar. I'm just going to do it from the contact because it's easy. We got it right here. I got the add the flow button. I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to click on that flow. It says, you know, this thing's being processed. I'm just going to refresh the page so we can see it update right now. Um, the flow ran. And look at that. We got an attend link on the contact in the Google Plus spot. That's exactly what we wanted. So this is the link to join the webinar. <laughs> so we can use that now <laughs> in another flow use like a wait step, wait until the webinar date, shoot out the invite, right? That's exactly what we wanted. Um, so that's awesome. So that's how you guys build a uh, in 11 minutes in a, an API integration uh, with a third party. Um, and if you're troubleshooting, <laughs> um, you know, the easiest way is to do what I just did right here. You know, you add it to the flow. You got this little icon right here that shows you the flow log. <clears throat> Right, it's gonna show you the request and the response right here. So you can actually debug this and say like, well, what actually did we send to the API? What did they actually respond with? So expand this, it'll show you that. That really helps you in the troubleshooting. This API was super easy because you know they got documentation, right? It tells you what fields are required, tells you the URL. So pretty simple process, anyone can do it, but that's where you can go to dive in and get the log. Uh, or like you saw me do, right? My favorite thing is to just use the test button, right? You can test your API using this and pick the contact that you want to test it with. Because remember, when you're testing your API, in this case, we're actually sending the first name of a contact and the email of a contact. So that's why when you click test, you got to pick the contact you want to test with because it's going to pick that data, uh, post that data with the API. So super simple example. I love that 11 minutes to do an API <laughs> integration, but what do you think, Charles? Absolutely. And see, here's here's the secret sauce to all of that is um, Demio by, um, by design is, is already integrated with Zapier. So what we basically did is if you were using Zapier for um, your no code um, integration, we just showed you how to replace Zapier and go directly to the um, provider to get your own um, API directly connected to FlowTrack and then create your own automation flows beyond that. So no now troubleshooting your Zapier integration with FlowTrack with your integration with Demio. Let's just go straight to the source. Yeah, 100%, especially when, you know, the, the work to integrate with Zapier was like basically the same amount of work we did right here. I just Absolutely. pasted in the URL, right? Paste in the URL, you got the ID, name, and email. Um, I mean, it doesn't really get any simpler than that. So yeah, Absolutely. I mean, if you can cut out Zapier, leave out that step, right? Because then once you ping it to Zapier, you want to you get, get some data back. You want the join link and it's kind of like a nightmare of stitching things together. <laughs> Right, so. Absolutely. And as we know how these, um, you know, Zapier, and I, I'm not too sure about uh, Pabli because I haven't used them as of yet, but if they're like Zapier, you get X amount of zaps, um, you know, per uh, week or per month or whatnot. And those things have to listen for a trigger to happen. And yeah, no, no, just go directly to the source. You can do mm -hmm. it right <laughs> yeah. in FlowTrack. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So we're getting a lot of great comments in here. People saying, hey, guys, this is awesome. Um, and this is so freaking dope. So, yep, I appreciate you guys. Very happy to be able to serve you guys and keep delivering some killer content and uh, software. <laughs> so definitely, definitely <laughs> no exciting. doubt. No doubt. Um, and we could go we could go an hour more with use cases of why you would want to put someone into a webinar flow after they've signed up for your um, subscription for flow track as a as a sub user. Because, again, we want to get people to get indoctrinated using um, the platform. And so what easier way to do than to have an immediate training inside a webinar platform. So, dude, this is, you know, way easy to set up. As you guys could see, we didn't have any um, JavaScript that we needed to run. It was just pretty straightforward with just looking at what they say you need from the documentation 
in your uh, third party application and the documentation really in flow track and you're really good to go what was that 11 12 minutes okay we give it 12 minutes 12 minutes i mean i was we were chatting in the beginning a little bit so maybe, maybe <laughs> 10 we, we, <laughs> but, yeah. you know trying to try to unsuccessfully hide um uh, yeah. api key so if, if anybody wants to use the api key i will gladly set up you know webinars on your behalf <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> right Perfect. Well, no, this was great. Um, I, I'm glad we decided to do this. So, you know, we're just like ad hoc. Um, we got to do this for our business, for our webinar. Why not just live stream it? <laughs> so that's the best way Absolutely. to crank out Mike caught me a little off guard with that one, but I said, let's run it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Perfect. Well, if you guys got any questions, um, you know, definitely drop them in the con uh, comments or drop them in the Facebook group. And if you guys are watching this on, on YouTube, make sure to smash that subscribe button, smash the like button. <laughs> Always wanted to say that. I think that's the first time <laughs> I've ever said that. So, um, but yeah, uh, happy to have you guys. Um, and uh, if you've got any questions, drop them in there. So appreciate you. Have a good rest of your awesome. day. Awesome. All right. All right, bye.